The sixth and final chucker is about to begin here. The last seven minutes of this 2008 international at Kiki is about to get underway. Can England pull some rabbits out of the hat and turn this game around? They're trailing by three. Just get out of jail there. Scoring chance for New Zealand, but they failed to convert. Coming away with it, Mark Tomlinson. He will fight right to the bitter end. He loves to win this man, hates to lose. Right over the halfway, they charge down into New Zealand territory. Man for man, pony for pony. Coming with it at pace. Taking it deeper into his own half is Tommy Wilson. Just loses track of the ball there. Shuts his pony down. Morley onto it. Backhand in towards centre plate. Sitting up for Malcolm Borick under his pony's neck. Can he? Oh, it's out to the left-hand side. Flag behind, no goal. Back to the play, Byme picks it up, takes it away on the halfway, back into towards New Zealand territory, comes on the bounce, the seven goaler. Still controls it. Brilliant play from him. Comes off Craig Wilson there. Falls in favour of Tom Morley. Just shuts his pony down right on the boards, getting hassled there by Craig Wilson. Tomlinson brings it a short way out of there, weaves his way through the traffic. Lifted behind though, backhand. From Tommy Wilson onto the boards it comes. Coming in there, Bark in front of JP Clark and whistle. The ball there, the hardened plastic ball. Rolls no foul. Ball's rolled in by the umpire. Coming away with it. Penalty this time. Penalty awarded to England. Penalty three. Pressure goes on this man. They need to score. Tom Morley. Well, his pony just wasn't set, and it's out to the right-hand side. Flag behind. Well, a golden opportunity to put the pressure back on New Zealand is just what they need. England has gone begging here. Bime comes in front of Clark and whistle. Penalty awarded to New Zealand. Right on halfway. In comes Simon Kite. Huge ball. Look at it go. It just about comes down with snow on it. Tommy Wilson shoots for goal. He's gone underneath it, left it behind. Hanging on, oh, Craig Wilson. Just about went out the front door there. Craig Wilson hanging on for all money. As we watch. He's pretty happy about it. On the Lexus replay here, look at him. Just about went over the years, but managed to come down on his feet, and he's pretty happy with that, not his backside. But I think he's been pinged in the process. Penalty against him. Came on the line of the ball there. So on the halfway, England. Chucker number six. This match is getting away from them. They need to score pretty smartly. Down to the goal mouth they come. By him under his pony's neck. He shoots for goal. Look at it. It's still rolling. It's straight through. Brilliant goal there from Byme. England back in the 110 goals to eight. What a goal here on the Lexus replay. He slips in between the two Kiwis and fires a shot from well wide here. And look at it roll straight between the goal posts. Back to halfway they come. What a game, Bynes hand, 10, 10 goals to eight. Can they get another one, England? Coming away with it, JP Clark and lofted drive over the head of Simon Kite, bouncing ball eludes him and there's England captain Mark Tomlinson it's still going goal with JP Clark and straight through, no doubt about it brilliant absolute brilliance, just when England had a sniff of a comeback this man raises the bar look at him go flat tack here JP Clark and brilliant stuff he is full noise and they can't drag him, and he picks it up on the bounce there. Eye like an eagle. He has led his team superbly in the second half, J.P. Clarkin. And goals like that. He's made them count. Back to halfway they come. 11 goals to eight. England, can they get another goal just to change it? But another attack coming from New Zealand. Gone underneath it was Tommy Wilson, but Craig Wilson in behind, backing up. Brings it towards the goal mouth. Look at that short play from him. New Zealand number two leaves it sitting right out in front, near side backhand. 
from Mark Tomlinson out to the play. They come out to the boards. Umpire's pony quickly gets out of the way. Under his neck comes James Byam, picks up this time Morley. Can he do something for England? Sneaks it in front of JP Clarkin on the near side this time. JP Clarkin all over Morley. Races back in defence. New Zealand shutting the back door. Brings it around this time. Oh, coming through onto it there was Borak for the million dollar meet. Got penalised though. Opportunity to extend their lead, New Zealand. Kite, big shot. But out to the right hand side, flag behind, no goal. Keeping them right down in their own half, New Zealand. England under pressure. They need to get out of here. Borak, ball sits up in front of him. Straight along the carpet, he powers one up towards the halfway. But Simon Kite reads it pretty well, anticipated and bangs it back down towards England territory. Coming on to it, Craig Wilson puts one in towards centre play this time. Barks there, near side backhand. Doesn't fall in favour of an English shirt though. Big ball coming from Simon Kite. Oh, there's the whistle. And that signals the end of the match. It is all over here at Naria Kaupolo ground. New Zealand have run out the winners in a great display of running polo by 11 goals to eight. Jubilation for the Kiwis. Commiserations for the Englishmen. New Zealand, well, after three consecutive defeats to the hands of the English, they have finally put one on the board. Look at the elation from the Kiwis. Just shows you how much tension and pressure was riding on this match right to the bell. They know they've had the battle of their lives and come out with the right result. Disappointment for the English captain for what could have been after a great start to the match. But New Zealand, led by JP Clarkin. What a victory for them. Some scintillating play we've been treated to. England feeling dejected, yet they should hold their heads up high for treating us to an outstanding show of Test Match Polo. Righto, John Ford, great game. 11 goals to eight. You've, you've done it. Tipped them over the great English side. You had us panicking there in that uh, after those first three chuckers. How, how does it feel? Yeah, very good now. Um, no, as you say, we're, 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 that's how we played a bit in the first half. We're a bit panicked and, uh, and didn't get settled. And uh, fortunately, we, we changed things around a little bit at half time and, and pulled it together. So, yeah, pretty, pretty happy now. Okay, Mark Tomlinson, you just, just missed out there. You came out fighting in those first three chuckers. The second three win against you, 11 goals to eight. A great game of polo, though. No, it was, it was great fun, and, and I thought we had them after the first three. Like you say, we were, we were looking good, and then they, we started to play their game a bit, and they, they came out strong, and we couldn't, we couldn't cope. We started to make mistakes. I think I said the other day before the game, it's about who makes the, the least mistakes. And in the first three, they, we were playing well and they were making mistakes. And then it just turned around. It's amazing how polo can, can change like that. All the best. Enjoy your trip home. Thank you. It's a, always a pleasure to be here in, in New Zealand. So, um, so we'll be back. Well, that wraps it up here. The Kiwis, they can safely put New Zealand's coveted International Challenge trophy, the Hayward Rose Bowl, back in the cabinet till 2009 and celebrate a momentous victory that has been a long time coming. Till next time, we bid you farewell from the Nariakau Polo Ground here in Kiki on a great day for Kiwi fans. New Zealand running out the winners by 11 goals to eight. changed things around a little bit at half time and, and pulled it together. International Test Match Polo was brought to you by Lexus.